Hi everyone, my name is Tom Mandel and I am one of the technical support engineers here at Hawkridge Systems. Today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about a feature that's not very well known to many of our SolidWorks users, and that is the ability to use a design table to change the materials in each different configuration. So what I have here is just a very simple part and it contains two different configurations. Now the main differences between these configurations are the thickness and also the material that's applied. One of the ways to do this is to right click in the tree on your material, select configure material, and this allows you to pick a material for each configuration. If you use this drop down menu, it shows you a list of all of your favorite materials, and you can also use this browse more down here to access the rest of the library. Here you can pick any one of these materials or you can also go to the favorites tab and you can add any materials here that you'd like to be available in that drop down menu. So now that we have two configurations that have some minor differences between them, let's go ahead and create our design table. To keep things simple, we'll just use the auto create option, leave the rest of the options as defaults, and you'll notice that it pulls out all the information that's different between each configuration. So it's here it shows you a description, shows you a color, this one's your thickness, and here's your material. As you can see in the syntax here, it actually pulls out the name of the library and then the name of the material. So here it shows SolidWorks materials and it's the brass material. This one, again, comes from the same library, but it's the cast alloy steel. Now say your part had 10 different configurations and you wanted to change the material for all of the 10 configurations. You don't want to have to manually activate each configuration and then change the material. So if you're using a design table, what you can do is use the drop-down menu here, and this allows you to access any one of your favorite materials. So what I've done here is I have added a custom material to the bottom of my list. This is just mainly to show you how it references the name of the material library. So let's change this one as well. So if you click outside the table to allow it to update, we are in the default configuration right now, and you'll notice that that custom plastic material has been applied. And now the second configuration has the brass material applied. So now if we go back into our design table, let it update, you'll notice that this here references the custom materials library, and it shows that you're using your custom plastic. So that's about all I have for you today. To recap, we went over managing the list of favorite materials that you can use for that drop-down menu. Went over configuring materials. We also showed how to use the design table to change the material for each configuration. For more useful videos like this, you can subscribe to the Hawkridge Systems YouTube channel. Thanks a lot for watching.